given that we live in this world with high frequency traders, is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? What does our current market structure look like? So we wanted to take a quantitative approach without you know, directly either backing up high frequency or attacking them. We, we wanted to look at what does our current market structure look like. So let's take one metric, volatility. Okay, There's a lot of ways to define volatility. So just one of them is let's look at close to close volatility. Okay, And last year, 2011, was definitely one that at least anecdotally we all felt was very volatile, right? Well, in fact, what we see in this chart is that 2011 was actually less volatile than it was earlier in, in, the, in the decade in 2000s, and nobody was talking about high frequency back then. Of course, we can go even farther back and see how it compares, and you know, you go back all the way to the 1930s, and last year wouldn't have even ranked in the top 15 in terms of most volatile years. Another way of looking at volatility is intraday volatility, and here we've actually had to adjust by the overall baseline level of volatility in the markets because you know as you have the general level of volatility higher naturally your intraday volatility is also going to be higher so once we adjust that we see that every single year it's been coming down consistently over time 